Hi everyone, welcome to your first in-home workout. Today we're going to be getting a little bit of strength and we'll have a finisher, focusing mainly on single leg deadlifts. So you'll need a bit of a wall space around you if you need help with your balance. We're also gonna be in some plank positions. So if you have a yoga mat at home that you wanna roll out or one of your carpets, you may need to move some furniture uh, to have the best base possible to do this in. Also, based on our Instagram polls, a lot of you guys have bands at home. Uh, so if you do have the rubber bands instead of one like this, that's fine. Get your band and you're also gonna need a timer of some kind. So either your laptop or a clock set uh, that you can see if you're on your phone right now. Um, okay, so first thing, we're gonna warm you guys up. I need you to set your timer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna have you guys moving every 30 seconds. That'll give us a little leeway if you need to take a break at any time. Then we'll bump up the intensity. We'll bring it down to 20 second intervals. You guys can just follow me. At the end of the warm up, we'll bring the heart rate down and then we'll get into the work. I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. Benches the warm up. We're going to start right side single leg deeper. So I want you to drive your heel into the ground, squeeze your glute, and we're going to take just a little half second pause at the top. We'll do 30 seconds on that right heel, and we'll switch to the left, okay? There's that little pause, and coming back down. Make sure your head, your shoulders are all relaxed on the ground. So if you're with me on my timer, we have just under 15 seconds before we switch. All right, we're gonna switch in three, two, and one. Same thing with that little pause at the top. Just about 15 seconds to go on this side. Five seconds, so she could be about two more reps. One more. And then on to the next one. We're gonna go up dog into down dog. So flip over on your mat, drop the hips to the mat, bring the chest up. Take a second here. You can even look over your right shoulder, look over your left, and then press back into down dog. We're gonna cycle through that for the next 30. Go one more, and then we can bring the right leg forward into that world's greatest stretch. If your hips feel tight, take a second there to open up that hip. Bring that elbow to the ground, and then as you rotate up, follow your arm with your eyes. 30 seconds here. So about 15 seconds left before we hit that other side. Up with the knee or down is totally up to you. I find if my hips are really tight, the knee up just gives me a little bit extra. Okay, we're gonna switch. So left leg forward and then same thing here. This is my tight side, so I always take an extra second here. Nice, about 10 seconds. We're gonna move to alternating shoulder tap. Awesome, so let's hit that high plate position. Make sure the wrists are right underneath the shoulders, feet a little bit wider, and then driving the same side foot into the ground as you raise the arm. Minimal movement in through the hips, squeezing the belly button in. Alternating. Don't worry if your balance is a little off. You'll warm up when we get prime. Awesome. Coming into hamstring swings. Alternate. Bring that foot up. I like to come up on my toe. And I take three little steps in between sides. Awesome. One more each step. Coming into 
forward lunge with a twist. So come into that lunge, twist over that front knee, step back, alternate. You can try keeping that knee off the ground as well if you need a little extra quad stretch. Awesome, we're gonna come into overhead squat with a little bit of tempo. So especially if you're tight, make sure your feet are a little bit wider than your hips. Turn those toes out, arms come up, thumbs point back, we move slow down, we hold, we move slow up. I'm starting to get warm, so I certainly hope I'm not the only one. Nice, 20 seconds till the end of the five minute mark here. We're gonna do one more and then drop into mat and clock rest here. All right, keep pushing your pace. 10 seconds. We're coming up in the high knees now. So nice, like jog on the spot. Bring the knees up as high as you can. Ten seconds. Butt kicks coming up in three, two, one. We're gonna take the heels to the glutes. Squats. Excellent step feet wider than the hips. Nice tempo here. One more here. And then we're gonna find our mats. We're gonna hit right side plank, 30 seconds, and then we'll left. Make sure the hips are set. This hip tends to fall back, so try to bring it forward. Halfway. Then one more side. Good. Make sure your shoulder is always stacked over your elbow and the chest stays open. All right, let's switch. I'm going to move my mat so I can see you guys. Awesome. And then 30 seconds here. You should feel your heart rate coming down already. Jump around. Hopefully you're sweating already too. Jump, 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 Ten seconds to go. And then we can get ready for the workout. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Okay. So if you didn't take any breaks, you have about 90 seconds on your clock to get ready. You're gonna need your band, you're gonna need your mat, a little bit of floor space, and maybe some wall space. We've got three rounds of our workout coming up.
rich hit an eight figure, that's my type. That's my type. That's my type. Eight inch bagel, that's the pipe. Bad chick, I'm a ride it right all night. Rich hit an eight figure, that's my type. That's my type. That's my type. Eight inch bagel, that's the pipe. That's my type. That's my type. That's my type. So we are going to do three reps, eight reps each. I want you guys to take your time and go nice and slow with those single leg deadlifts. There are some really important technical points with that deadlift. So the first one, before we get into the workout, let's just look at the movement. I want you guys to choose a leg that you're going to stand on. This will also be the side if you need a bit of wall space to put on here. Okay? Otherwise, the points I'm looking for here, this toe stays flexed. This is going to be my legs moving back. Okay? I'm looking to keep my hips and my shoulders square to the floor. I'm also not wanting to drop my chest lower than the angle of my hip and my heel. So let your heel be your guide. Imagine someone type of strength in the back of your shoe and is lifting your shoe. You want to stay nice and rigid with core engagement so that your upper body moves with that heel, okay? So root down, press your foot into the floor of the leg you're going to stand on, flex the toe, begin to lift that heel. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core. Again, those hips are square. And then you can just raise that arm out for a second and bring it back in. That's your single leg done. So take it that slow. Make sure you feel that tightness, okay? We're going to start with eight reps on each side. And I'm going to start on my left leg. Nice. Go slow, especially if you're not used to these movements. If I had a wall, I would just be using it as my guide. But make sure that wall doesn't limit your ability to continue to kick back. We're not trying to hold on to the wall. We're just trying to slide the head along the wall. Now, if you have a weight at home, you can grab two dumbbells, you can grab a single dumbbell or a single kettlebell, and you would just hold it like this. So please feel free to weight this movement if you have the tools at home. So step eight, I'm gonna switch sides. Again, root into the floor, hip square, lift the heel, flex the toe, reach, and then of course, if I had that dumbbell or kettlebell, it's gonna be in this arm, pointing at my toe when I come down as a counterweight. One of the key pieces to your balance is this knee. So as this knee collapses in, my glutes shut off, and I'm more than likely gonna lose my balance. If I can keep that knee tracking out over my pinky toe, balance is good. Awesome. Okay, now to my mat. Again, tempo nice and slow. I'm gonna hold that high plank position, alternate knee to elbows, turn, load my weight over my wrist. Total of 16. Six. We're gonna go lateral side step. So I'd love to bump the knees. Give yourself a few feet. All you're gonna to need to move is two steps left, two steps right, okay? So hips are gonna hinge back, shoulders stay open, core stays tight. Take the foot, draw it out, and try to stay in that quarter squat. Make sure the knees are not collapsing in. 
You want to drive the knees out on the band. We're going to go here for about a minute, which should be about eight knees. Nice and slow both ways. If you have two bands, feel free to bend on your ankles as well. That would be about the 30 second mark. Okay, now's a good time to check yourself whether you're standing up with it. Try to stay in that quarter squat. I know it's harder. That's what we want. Now the next one, optional for those who have it, if you have a home pull-up bar, put uh, a 30 second timer on in the next movement, and you can do 30 seconds, max reps, as many pull-ups as you can in your home pull-up bar, okay? We're not gonna do that in case most people don't, but that is an option you can throw in there. Awesome, okay, bands off. Last one we're gonna do, 30 seconds of jumping lunges. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna set my timer back for 30 seconds. You guys can modify to a step back lunge if you need to. Who knows, I might have to halfway as well. All right, here we go. Nice gentle contact with my knee to the floor. Never smashing that knee to the ground. are more primed, your mind, your muscles, for those movements. So you can get all out the cobwebs on round one. That's two. Three. One of the big challenges I think people have on this one is, I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see me. If this is you and your hip is up, your toe pointing to the side, Try to drop that knee down for me. Okay, imagine that it's connected to the ground when you're doing these. There's two cables keeping your hips in the ground. It might be helpful to just touch your hips and notice if one hand is way higher than the other. All right, this is the last one. And then we take it to a half. 16, bringing those knees across to the opposite elbow. Again, don't rush it.
I'm gonna go 30 seconds. If you need the modifier, so when you get really tired, it's gonna be step back. Again, watching the knee tracking over the pinky toe and not collapsing it, okay? Five seconds. And time, beautiful. Okay, again, if you have that home pull-up bar, go ahead, set your timer for 30 seconds, do some pull-ups, and then you join me back for round three. Last time here. Watching the hips, the shoulders, and the height of your chest. Again, I'm never dropping that chest down. Okay? It's not about just bending over, it's about hinging over. Okay, so last one. And then we're back to our mat. Last 16 reps here.
you had a chance to get your towel. This is evidence that this workout is a little spicy. I'm very much sweating right now, so hopefully you're on the same page. Uh, we're gonna do a six minute core finisher, and your goal is to try and stay with me. Every 30 seconds, we're gonna switch up whether we're doing something like a sit up into something like a Russian twist. So I'm gonna cue you guys about 10 seconds out. We're gonna try and go through this together. Try not to take any breaks, six minutes, and then you're done, okay? And we'll have a nice stretch after. So all you need is your mat, your carpet, wherever you've been, um, and your timer. And I'm gonna get that timer going for six minutes, starting in three. We're gonna start in the low plank in two, and one on those elbows. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. Now, glutes are squeezing, cores are squeezing, and also your quads. Make sure your shoulders are right over top of your elbows. You can pull a slight arch into that upper uh, mid back as well as you're pulling your tummy in. Please make sure this is not you, okay? Your glutes are very much an extension of your core. From here, we're gonna move to side plank in three, two, and one. Okay, we've been here before in the warm up. So now that you're a little more tired, do your diligence to pull up, keep the hips square, watch that back hip from dropping, and then if your elbow is way in front of your shoulder, bring it down, right underneath the shoulder. Again, quads are also engaged. You got 10 more seconds. We're gonna switch sides. I'm gonna go this way. You guys can feel free to just roll onto your other elbow. In three, two, and one. We're back. Okay, so first minute down of six. And we got about 15 seconds here. We're gonna come onto our backs. We're gonna come into a toe touch. So you'll lay down onto your back, tuck your tailbone under, press your low back into the floor, and raise your legs up to start. In three, two, and one. Here's your position. Now take your fingers, get them up as high as you can to your toes. Try to relax your neck and your chest. And if you have long legs like me, then good luck reaching your toes. My arms are not doing me any service right now. They're not long enough. Oh, there we go. All right, three seconds. We're gonna come into a flutter kick. And you can bring the hands underneath the glutes. You can relax your neck and shoulders as long as you can press your low back into the floor. This is fine. Some people find this irritates their neck. I'm good either way. Reset if you feel that low back peeling up. Two minutes and 30 seconds. We're gonna come into a side sit up. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Hands support the head. And then you're gonna bring that opposite elbow across the knee. Nice again, make sure you're relaxing your neck. We got 10 seconds here, we're gonna switch sides. And then that will be officially halfway. Three, two, and one. Try to flow right into it. Awesome, 15 seconds here. We're gonna come into straight leg sit up. So all you're gonna do is straighten your legs in front of you. Option one, cross your hands over your shoulders. Option two, you can slide your hands along your thighs. Just gonna come all the way up. Try to bring that leg out all the way 
twisting. Thank you. 